Hi everyone, this is Taryn with Wonderfully Made Handcrafting and today I'm working through day two of By the Wall for God's What Jesus Commands. Day two speaks on repentance and following Christ and also what the difference is between regretting something and repenting from something. So here I am just laying all the florals out with a typewriter and kind of getting a feel of what those alpha stamps will look like. These are the new Matthews alpha. I really like these. And I am recreating a page kind of that I have done previously with a different typewriter from By the Well for God. It was a stamp from another kit. And I am going to be using a craft knife and just slicing this up a little bit so I can feed that vellum piece that says repent and follow and just feed that through the typewriter so it looks like it's actually in the typewriter itself. Now to bring some cohesiveness to this page and also to grunge it up a little bit, I will be adding some frayed burlap to the outside of this typewriter just to brush up the sides to make it look more vintagey. And also I will do that to the flowers. If you know me, if you've watched any of my videos, you know fried burlap is my go-to for going around the edges of ephemera pieces. And so that's for the most part what I do on these edges to make them not look so stark white. And also here, I really liked on my previous video how I used some glossy accents on some typewriter keys. And so I'm just going over that again with the glossy accents on these typewriter keys. Since these keys are so small, they will not take too long to dry. So I'll just put that to the side as I go over my florals. And after I do all my florals, I'm thinking kind of about what I want to do on the background. I don't want it to be white, but I want to add some color and just something different I haven't done in a while and I think I'm gonna go for a stencil. So I'm going to use Tattered Rose with a makeup brush which takes a little bit of time to lay down because I have only one of these little tiny makeup brushes. I really need to invest in some of the bigger ones but I didn't know what I was really buying online when I bought these. I didn't know they were gonna be so tiny. But um, By the Well for God does have uh, some other brushes. I believe they are bigger than this one. And so I might grab a couple of those from By the Well for God. I do like these a lot. They lay down color really well. They do get a little splotchy if you're a little too heavy handed, but I've noticed that you can blend it out fairly well. And it works a little bit better than my black fluffy blush brush. So I'm gonna fill up this paper as best as possible with this Tattered Rose Distress Oxide color. And after I feel like I have a fairly good layer of this color down, I'm gonna grab some frayed burlap and use that blush brush and um, just go over the pieces that may look a little splotchy. The blush brush does really well in filling those out. Now this is a stencil from Echo Park. It is just a fun little dotty um, stencil. It's kind of, um, I don't know, it's just fun and girly. So I picked this one because of all the florals on the page and it wasn't gonna take away from anything else that I put on the page since it's not um, very strong of a stencil. It's just definitely a background stencil. So that's why I chose that one. And then I'm gonna put everything back so I know exactly where I'm gonna end up putting those words regret versus repent with my Matthews Alpha. After laying everything out, I realized that I want some more florals on the bottom near the typewriter. I want that typewriter to look more so in the background. So I get some frayed burlap on the edge of another um, floral that I cut up. And then I'm gonna be moving on to the title, Regret versus Repent. Now here I am using the archival ink. This is in the color Hickory Smoke. These are the Tim Holtz Distress Colors um, in the Archival Ink. The Archival Ink does bleed through the back page. Just to let you know, that doesn't really bother me because this is just for art for me. This is um, how I study, but I'm not using this to read my Bible in. I prefer an ESV, not the CSB that this is in. And so I just do my art in it. 
So here I am, I added a little bit extra of notes, <clears throat> excuse me, and it says regret is about self, whereas repentance is about my sin and how deeply it grieves God. And that was my kind of takeaway from day two was repentance is all about self and if you get caught and how you feel and stuff, whereas repentance is about how we have sinned against the Holy God and how that grieves him deeply. And so I really wanted to make sure I put those notes on the page because I want to remember what the difference was between regret versus repent. Now you can see I am using that little letter board stamp set to make some of my takeaway words bold because I really wanted those three little sections to stand out. I am deciding to grab my Barely Arts Precision Glue. That thin little tiny nib for the top of the glue works best for little pieces like this and it's also going to work great for those florals with all the tiny leaves everywhere. So if you haven't grabbed one of these Barely Art Precision Glues, i not sponsored by them or anything, but I would go out and grab one because they are awesome glues and um, stick really well and I really like how it comes with the different nibs. As I start to glue down some of my florals I decide I'm going to have some be glued down to the paper and then I'm going to prop some up with some foam tape. I always like adding dimension to my pages and some chunk and so this will definitely do that. Now this um, illustrating bible is great for adding your own layers and chunk to you. You can also do it in an interleaved Bible with just one of those stationary bindings. However, this is easier where you can add more pages done and more chunk to the whole Bible itself because you do have that spiral binding. I do wish they made um, the best of both worlds and did an interleaved with a spiral binding because I really like the blank pages in the interleaved and usually they come in ESV which I love, um, but um, they just don't right now. So this is what I end up doing. I just work on both of them. I find out which layout I kind of want, if I want the illustrating Bible for a certain um, Bible journaling page or if I want it interleaved, I've gone back and forth. Now I used to only be able to work through one Bible at a time because it drove me crazy if I was in more than one Bible at once doing art. But I've just decided it's okay and I add my dates to all my pages anyhow so I know when that page was created. As I start to complete this page, I decide I want one more floral in the bottom left hand corner and I want it propped up with some foam tape. I felt like it was missing something and so this single floral kind of fills in that area a little bit better. And so I'm putting that down and then I'm going to work on this butterfly I have from the digital art. And this butterfly, I'm going to use vellum again to create some wings. I grabbed this pink vellum because it's a little thinner so you can see through to the wings better than the frosted clear one that I have on the typewriter. I'm just going to trace that out with um, the butterfly flipped upside down so it's the same um, sides for the vellum. And then I will glue that wing down with some glossy accents. If you didn't know, glossy accents is a great glue. It dries clear and it is super strong. So now you know. After I put the wings on the butterfly, I'll go back to my Barely Arts Precision Glue and just put that down on the middle of the butterfly like I did the glossy accents and kind of tuck it behind one of the floral pieces. So the wings can kind of be propped up a little bit, but they don't necessarily have to be at the same time. They can flatten out when the Bible closes. I'll put my day stamp to the top, the only place I have left on this page, and I will put a bow down and that'll be it. If you've enjoyed this page, please like and subscribe to my channel. And you can go ahead and follow me over on Instagram at Wonderfully Made Handcrafting. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.